The Mac Mini has always been Apple's smallest desktop, but it's also one of the most surprising. Year after year, it proves that size isn't everything when it comes to performance. With the recent M4 Mac Mini, Apple gave us a stunning redesign smaller than ever before and packed it with enough power to rival laptops and even entry-level desktops. But here's the thing Apple is already working on what comes next. The M5 Mac Mini is shaping up to be more than just a refresh. We're talking about a new chip architecture, faster CPU and GPU performance, bigger baseline storage, and potentially a new spot in Apple's product timeline. I end today's video, we're going to break it all down in detail. We'll cover the M5 chip performance leaks, what to expect from the M5 Pro version, the memory and storage upgrades, the possibility of Apple skipping the M5 entirely, and of course the rumored release date and pricing. If you're someone who's been holding off upgrading, or you're just curious about the future of Apple Silicon desktops, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know whether the M5 Mac Mini is worth waiting for or if the M4 is still the smarter by dot a quick look back M4 Mac Mini, the M4 Mac Mini launched late 2024, was the biggest redesign in over a decade, shrunk in size by nearly 50% in volume. Pricing was aggressive M4 Mac Mini started at $599, 16GB RAM, 256GB storage. M4 Pro Mac Mini launched at $1, powered by the M4 and M4 Pro chips offering a big jump in efficiency and performance. Why does this matter? Because Apple usually keeps the Mac Mini's design unchanged for years, which means the M5 version is expected to look identical to the M4, no major design changes. What to expect from the M5 chip? The M5 base chip will be built on TSMC's enhanced 3 nanometers process, N3E meaning higher efficiency, better battery life on laptops, lower power draw on desktops. Performance boost of 20-25% over M4, CPU configuration, Still 10 cores, 6 efficiency, 4 performance, but clock speeds and efficiency will improve. GPU configuration expected to jump to 12 cores up from 10. RAM options 16 gigabytes, 24 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes, same tiers as M4. Storage big rumor baseline storage may finally move to 512 gigabytes instead of 256 GB. Higher tiers 1 terabyte, 2 terabytes, up to 4 TB. What about the M5 Pro Mac Mini? The M5 Pro chip could see more dramatic upgrades. CPU possibly 16 cores, total 12 performance, 4 efficiency. GPU around 22 cores up from 20 in M4 Pro. RAM options baseline 24 gigabytes unified memory. Higher tiers 48 gigabytes and possibly 64 GB. Storage baseline if the M5 base starts at 512 gigabytes, the M5 Pro could start at 1 TB. Price still expected around $1, $399. Will there even be an M5 Mac Mini? Here's where things get interesting. Bloomberg's Mark Gurman reports that the M5 chip will appear first in iPads, late 2025, and possibly the Vision Pro headset MacBooks with M5 chips may slip into early 2026. This timeline means the Mac Mini and iMac with M5 could be very late 2026 or skipped entirely. Historically, Apple has skipped chip generations in certain products. For example, some iPads skipped A series chips. The iMac skipped M2 entirely and jumped straight to M3. This makes it entirely possible that Apple could skip M5 in the Mac Mini lineup and wait until M6 in 2026-2027. Competing against itself M4 versus M5, the M4 Mac Mini is already very powerful for most users. The M5 would bring slightly faster CPU 20-25%. More GPU cores. Higher default storage. But for the average user, the difference might be minimal, especially if you're using it for everyday tasks coding or even light creative work. Where M5 really shines pro workflows like 3D rendering, machine learning, video editing. The competition Mac Studio MacBook Pro PC's Apple has to position the M5 Mac Mini carefully against Mac Studio M3 Max and M3 Ultra versions. MacBook Pro with M5 Pro Max likely in 2026. If the Mac Mini gets too powerful, it risks overlapping with the Studio. Meanwhile, PC makers like Intel and AMD are pushing AI-enhanced CPUs and NVIDIA RTX GPUs, which remain stronger for pure gaming and certain pro workloads. Release date, what to expect if Apple sticks to tradition late 2025 would make sense. But based on leaks and analyst reports, M5 iPad Pro late 2025, M5 MacBooks early 2026, Mac Mini possibly late 2026.
Skip possibility Mac Mini could skip M5 entirely M6 in 2027.so that's everything we know so far about the M5 Mac Mini from performance improvements to possible storage boosts to the big debate about whether it will launch in 2025-2026 or be skipped entirely in favor of the M6 generation. Personally, I think the M5 Mac Mini will be a solid upgrade on paper, but the real question is timing. If Apple delays it too far, many users might simply jump to the M4 or wait until M6 for an even bigger leap. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think? Would you buy the M5 Mac Mini if it came out next year? Or would you rather wait until the M6 generation for a bigger performance jump? And for those of you already using the M4 Mac Mini, are you planning to upgrade or are you satisfied with what you've got? Let me know your thoughts in the comments I'll be reading and replying to as many as I can. And if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next deep dive into Apple's upcoming devices. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.